What's going on guys? Today we're going to check out a combi that is not too far from here. Uh, in a not too bad of an area. Uh, it's a, I think it's a 1970. It's what they call a Corugina. So that means like the old split window style. So we're going to take a run over to Jabacuara is the name of the neighborhood. We're gonna take a run over there and talk to the guy who's selling it and show you guys what kind of combis you can find here in Brazil for a reasonable price. Uh, so this one's in really rough shape, like totally rusted out, bent up. Uh, I think it has no glass, has, I don't know if it even has an engine, uh, but We'll see. Should be pretty interesting. And after this, we might have another one to check out as well. I think this other one is like a 68. So we might check it out as well if we have time. But yeah, today it's a beautiful sunny day. I think it's like plus 27. Super warm, very sunny. So it's a great day to go check out a colony. Porque ele sempre quer saber mais. É isso mesmo. So we're here checking out the colony. This is a 68, né? Yeah, 1968. Uh, it's from the state of Minas Gerais, which is super dry. Here's the document, very important. Yeah. So let's check it out. As you can see, full of Bondo, as usual. Big old dent here. This was probably full of Bondo, not anymore, but you know, it's always like that. Bottom of the door is all rusted out. Uh, and of course, this one's already partially disassembled. So look, you got your like, uh, exhaust, alternator. The rest of the block, he said it's in here. I don't know where, you got your bumpers here. Right, one and two, front and rear. What else do we got in here? The seat. We got the interior seat here, all the glass. And the block of the motor is lá embaixo daqui. No, the block of the motor is in the mechanic. Ah, sério? Okay. But it's included, né? It's included, the motor. Okay, so the block's not here, it's at the mechanic okay, shop. He's got a gas tank right there. Uh, we'll have to redo yeah. that. More glass in the back. You can see right here uh, all the glass. But it's not too bad. The roof seems oh, to be pretty much intact. Uh, let's see. Here. Ah, let's see. Yeah, not too bad. The, uh -huh. the identification plaque is here. So take a look at that. Can't see it from where I'm standing exactly, but it's uh, 1968. And yeah, I have to run the numbers to know the rest, but that's that. Window here, let's see what else we got. So let's check out the back here. This is pretty rough. This, probably, this floor here is probably all beat. Up here. At least it's not quite rusted through. Probably have to replace a bunch of stuff though. This corner looks pretty rough as well. Lots of bond right there. <laughs> and here. And everywhere. And here. And in here. Bondo everywhere. The whole thing is like made of bondo. Wow. So this will be a lot of work. And down here, that's probably all bondo as well. But okay. Oh, yeah, gas tank's coming. Let's check out this area. Oh, under here is actually not too bad. I thought this was really rusted out, but it's not too bad. E aí, a câmbio, tipo, você nem viu, né? Não, o câmbio não vi. Dizia que tava andando, tá vendo? Ela tem reduzida, né? Entendi. Olha o número do motor aqui do seu direito, ó. Pé da bateria. Ah, número do chassi, né? Não, é do número do chassi, Mito. So this is the chassis number. This is super important. Always got to check the chassis number to make sure it's the same as the one on the document. And what else? This is actually not too bad in here. It's rusty, but 
quite repairable. Better than many I've seen. <laughs> you can believe that. Suspension looks like it's all there. Pretty cool. All right, let's keep it going. Oof. Okay. And yeah, lots of rust in there, but that's okay. What else do we got? I wonder where the rear door is. O porta traseiro tá aqui? Tá aqui, ó. Ela tá encostada ali, ó. Na. Tá ali, ó. Tá vendo? Tá vendo? Ali, ó. Oh, mais. Ah, ok. Eu tô vendo. É. Yeah, it's that blue door over there. Ok. Aí sim. Ok, tudo bem. Vamos ver a cabine rapidinho. Quer tirar esse papo? <laughs> Ah, ah, é, foi bem. So here's the old seat, original seat, and here's your rear door. Door support's still there. That's pretty good. Door actually doesn't look that bad. That's pretty good. The dash isn't cut up. Oh, well, it's probably cut up behind this actually, behind this thing. Sorry, but it's not too bad. Gauges are still there at least. Oh, but they're not original. But we can find. We can figure that out. That's okay. And. I mean, that's that's it. I mean, obviously the floors were all gone. We don't even really need to look, like, yeah. What can I say? The floors just would have to I mean, oh, it's gotta replace the floors on these. So that's okay. Shifter, this I don't think is original, but that's okay. What else do we got here? And that looks like something that someone's rigged up for maybe the wipers? What's this sabe okay, isso? É burrinho de freio, é o óleo do freio. Ah, oh, it's the brake. Adaptaram aí. Brake fluid, okay. So someone's changed it to be like that for some reason. Which is okay. Yeah. What's up? Pretty good. Dash looks rough as hell, but we can probably have to sandblast it and check it out. Take a look. This guy says he knows the sandblast guy. I've been looking for that for a long time, so that'd be pretty cool. This is also interesting to roof, which doesn't seem too terrible. Alright. So yeah. Pretty good. Oh he wants to show us under here. Eh tá bom, né? Chassi tá. Eh, não tá tão ruim não. Legal. Tem um carpete, alguma coisa, ou para não, me deitar aqui não. ou não? Ah, para deitar? Uh -huh. Aham. Para ver lá embaixo. Eu é. sei que, em geral, o assoalho é sempre ruim, mas, né? Esse é só que mas... tá amassado, mas ele não tá podre. Não, amassado tudo bem, mas é tipo as longarias, né? As longarias são coisa importante. Ah, sem dúvida. So what I'm telling him right now is like the frame rails are super important, so, you know, let's check them out. Let's see what they look like. I don't want to lay on the dirty floor though. <laughs> so I'm putting this blanket down. Uh, here, just take off the backpack here. Alright. Let's see. Oof. Holy crap, the frame is actually pretty good. That's amazing. Wow, look at that. It's like original. It's not rusted through. I mean, we're gonna have to check, but it's not rusted through. There's a bit here. Right? That's pretty bad. This isn't too good. What else? <sighs> the other one doesn't look bad either. Nothing banged up. Engine cradle, still good. A little bent, but I've seen way worse than that. Yeah, looks pretty good. Not amazing, but pretty damn good. I mean, as long as these frame rails are good, nothing. So can't see the other No, too bad. Já o luz aqui não é tão ruim na verdade. Aí é isso, né? É, faço ver que ela é da Minas, né? Cheia yeah. da terra vermelho. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go check out the other one that he's got for sale that's close to here. This one seems okay. Very rough, but check it out. The other one he says is restored. I don't know if I'm really interested, but since we're here, let's check it out. So we're here checking out this other one. Uh hold on okay. I think it's uh, 75, so like the last year that they were made. Uh this one looks pretty good, but this is what they call a reformed combi. 
right? So that means that it has been made to look nice, but still, you know, basically it's repaired with like Bondo and stuff, right? So, check it out. Awesome. Gotta open it from the inside. So, I'm gonna get the light on here. It's pretty dark. All right, so we got the light on now. So, I mean, this is it. It looks really good. You know, like, it looks solid, but as you can see, he put floor over the floor <laughs> to hide it. Pretty, pretty interesting way of dealing with that. Of course, the doors are all covered up. You can't see anything of the metalwork. And like the bed, they just sprayed everything blue. They call it giving a bath. So. So whoever owned this, this guy just bought it to fix up and sell. So whoever owned this before would have been part of the hobby club, which is pretty cool. So let's check out on this side. I mean, same story, no knock to see, everything's covered up. But, I mean, you can see, like, it's just been painted, like, everything's been painted, the hinges, the door. They just, you know, ripped out the, a few things and just shot this whole thing with this metallic blue. I mean, you can see, like, you know, these sketchy wells and stuff. But, you know, someone didn't buy it. I mean, they paint, you know, they paint that in black, you know that. But it's not bad. I mean, the price that the guy's asking for it is pretty fair. So I wouldn't buy it because it's not really my game to do ones that are rough and made to look nice. But someone will buy it. And, you know, for the price, maybe it's the right thing for them. It's pretty cool. And what was really cool was that this guy was honest about the fact that it was the form. You know, he said, look, man, like, I, I built this one in this way. It ain't perfect, but, you know, that's the deal. Like, it's not a restoration. It's, I don't know, we fix it up to look nice, to sell, which is cool, because the price that he's asking for what he did is actually pretty fair. I mean, a lot of guys ask, like, triple the price for the same work. So, it's cool. I'm not going to buy a little bit.